Breaking news now, after Putin's terror campaign, Zelensky urges the West to impose stricter sanctions. Furious Putin's new wave of terror prompted Volodymyr Zelensky to call for stronger sanctions from the West yesterday, the Russian missile strike on Monday that killed 19 people, injured scores more, and knocked out power across much of Ukraine was said by the country's president to have only delayed our recovery a little. According to his words of caution, for such a new wave of terror, there must be a new wave of responsibility for Russia in the form of new sanctions, new forms of political pressure, and new forms of support for Ukraine. Terrorist state leaders must never again believe that acts of terror will yield positive results. Mr. Zelensky reported that on Tuesday, a total of 28 missiles were launched, with 20 being intercepted. Iranian combat drones were among them. According to him, if it wasn't for the fresh strikes, we would have already restored energy supply, water supply and communications that the terrorists damaged yesterday. To his point, he said that most cities and villages that had been hit by the attacks now had power and communications restored thanks to the quickly and efficiently progressing restoration efforts. Where there was destruction, Mr. Zelensky promised new infrastructure. Where there were casualties, Rebuilding has begun or will soon begin. After an explosion on a key bridge connecting Russia and Crimea on Saturday, Putin has claimed these deadly attacks were in retaliation. Last night, support for increased sanctions began to grow. Restrictions on Russian businesses and Putin's allies have been imposed on a large scale by Western countries. More than a thousand Russian individuals and companies, including oligarchs, have been hit with sanctions. Major Moscow banks have also been banned from the international financial messaging system SWIFT, however, the European Union has been hesitant to join the US in banning Russian oil and gas imports because Russia supplies 40% of the EU's gas needs. Putin said yesterday that the ball is in the EU's court after he declared he is ready to resume gas supplies to Europe via a link of the Germany-bound Nord Stream 2 pipeline under the Baltic Sea, Russia is prepared to receive shipments immediately. Now the European Union must take action. Putin said, the taps can be opened if they want to, and that's the end of it. He blamed the United States for the explosions on September 30 that caused gas leaks in the Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines, as reported at the Moscow Energy Forum. He claimed that the US aims to undermine Europe so that it will be forced to rely on American gas suppliers. Meanwhile, news of a mass grave in Friedlimen, eastern Donetsk, began to spread. More than 50 bodies, including those of soldiers and civilians, were discovered in multiple graves, according to Pavlo Kirilenko, head of the Donetsk military administration. Recent rounds of tough sanctions have had little effect and have had a greater negative impact on Europe than on Russia. The famous quote by Albert Einstein goes as follows, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. The EU might want to reconsider its position.